Good morning. We are live on Facebook. We are live on YouTube. As always, my Facebook family, uh, you guys, I answer all your questions after the show. If you want answers uh, during the show, I recommend you go to the YouTube channel. And I'm broadcasting live over there, and I can see your uh, can't wait. I've been a fan for close to six years. Thank you, Jeremy, very much. Okay, I wrote down a whole bunch of things I want to talk about. So um, there's some cool videos coming up, but I just want to encourage everybody to first, hold on, first sign up for my private group. Morning, David, how are you? Here's my private group that I'm going to be doing all my, hey, ugly, what's going on? I'm not calling people ugly, I swear. It's his username. Um, that's the group where I'm going to be doing all my giveaways. I already have a giveaway planned. Um, you know, I plan on doing a lot more giveaways, but we're going to do it in this private group so I can communicate with you. I can contact you if you're a winner. So there's the link in the comment section. Go to that Facebook group. Ask for permission. It's a private group, so not everybody can jump in. I've not allowed a few people in. Uh, you should do diabetic-friendly recipes. Uh, keto, any keto recipe I do is a diabetic-friendly recipe. Uh, hello, Jack. Missing eye to eye. Yes, we're. I'm revamping eye to eye because uh, because Pastor Jim's been unable to join me. He's moving into a whole other level of his ministry, and I'm going to be um, doing some stuff with other people. So I'm working on that. So I I will be back. Um, Hello, Jack. I'm not feeling well today. I am so sorry. Um, I know a lot of us are expecting or have experienced already the hurricane that's coming through. Uh, it's so weird because when I California is so different than the South. When I lived in California, I think nobody, I mean, nobody had a weather app. Nobody cared because they knew it was hot and it was just sunny. That was it. Hi, Jack. I banana and grapes. Okay, cool. Uh, hiya, Jack. Uh, loving the show. You're an awesome man. Thank you so much. Um, so, California, there was no weather. It was always, I remember one year, it was like 80 degrees the entire year. It, it just never, got, nothing happens. If you have a thunderstorm in California, it's a rarity that you hear thunder. So, then you come out to the south, and it's all they do. It's the first thing they do is look at the weather. They're looking at the weather all day long. They're looking, I mean, they're like all about the weather out there because the weather blows through so fast. You get thunderstorms, you get flash flood warnings, you get tornado warnings, you get hurricane warnings in the South. I mean, it's just, it's really crazy. In fact, I'm going next week to New Orleans. Told you guys I'd be going, I'm going. Have you thought about doing a recipe, something with eggnog on the show? Uh, no, but I've made eggnog on the show. I teach you how to make your own eggnog. And you can put alcohol in it or not alcohol in it. It doesn't matter. But the one I do, I think, is a non-alcoholic one. Uh, climate change is causing increasing amounts of storms in southern U.S. I don't know if I'm going to give it credit to climate change. But, yeah, the weather's been getting harsher. I mean, I can sit here and go. Uh, I mean, it's... It, I do agree there's climate change. There was climate change when the whole earth froze over and then it defrosted and then we came over, you know, I don't know when the ice age happened, but it happened. And at some point it melted. And I don't think people went too crazy and started, oh my God, climate change, the whole earth's melting. But anyway, it's everybody's opinion. Uh, we all should try to keep pollution down and, uh, you know, all your, your carbon footprint and all that stuff. Laugh up loud. There is a saying in Tennessee, you don't like the weather, just wait a minute. Yeah, that's, that's what I've been taught. So the one thing about weather is it's crazy. They, it rains so often here. It rains like, you know, at least three, four times a week, all, all year round. So people don't let it affect their plants. They just go about their business. In California, man, a drop of water hits the ground and everybody's like locked down. I mean, they're like way crazy. They're like, oh, it's the storm of 2020, you know, when one drop falls. But then anyway, we always joke about that because pe people in California can't drive in the rain. No way. I don't think they can in the South either. Uh, hey, man, hope your arm's doing better. Yes, I'm going to be doing a video on my arm 
So I will be, uh, I'm not worried about the coronavirus in Louisiana, but ugly. Thank you for the warning. I appreciate you caring. Uh, I will have my mask with me and there are people living in, you know, New Orleans right now, totally fine. And so, yep, I'm already just said that. So, um, so I will bring a mask with me. If uh, they require a mask, I'll keep a mask on. Uh, if I'm eating, I'm not, obviously not wearing a mask. Uh, I just, thank you, Ugly. Um, I just wanted to uh, do Cajun food. Cajun Food Wars is coming. We're doing the whole series. We're going to film the whole time we're there. We're going to, uh, the hurricane will be gone by then. Uh, the only thing that'll kill my, my trip is if the hurricane wipes out Louisiana, which I pray that it doesn't. I hope that it doesn't. Not for my benefit, just for Louisiana's benefit. So um, I have to tell you, out of all the natural disasters that happen, I think tornadoes the worst, then hurricanes the worst after that. Um, an earthquake. Uh, my sister's from New York. They're definitely afraid of earthquakes in New York. It's crazy. I'd rather have a, I, I've only, the worst thing I've seen from an earthquake is my commercials that are in the radio station fell off the wall. That was it. I mean, like an earthquake, a dish falls off and it breaks, okay? A tornado, your entire home is thrown through Walmart. I mean, which one would you rather have? It's the weirdest. If you've never felt an earthquake, it's the weirdest feeling. Uh, there was no proof or evidence that masks prevent the virus. Yeah, Carl, I don't want to go there. You guys can wear whatever you want to wear a dress. Have at it. You want to wear a hat? Have at it. Whatever you want to wear. You want to have a mask? I know people wear a mask and a plastic thing. I, I'm about I'm in a grocery sack over there. I mean, anybody can do whatever they feel comfortable doing because everybody has different situations. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's see here. Hey, Jack, have you ever been in a hailstorm? Yes. Hailstorms can be really dangerous, which is weird. I don't, I've never been in a bad hailstorm. At California, we've had hailstorms. Yeah, we have the hurricane coming through Nashville, but that's not till tomorrow afternoon. Anyway, so um, hailstorms can really beat up your car, can injure you. I mean, it's pretty bad. Uh, I just never seen the bad ones. That's true. Tornadoes are more scary. Yes, they are. Um, so let's talk about the topic at hand. Uh, hey, Jack, how do you like Tennessee? I love it. I love it. It's great. It's, uh, I get to do everything I love, hunting and fishing, and uh, it's just cool. It's so much different than what I've been used to my whole life. Jack, I feel like you said you were going to be a Beef Wellington, do a Beef Wellington video. Yeah, but I have so many videos ahead of that. That's, that's a desire. I want to attempt to either do a Lazy Man Beef Wellington, I'm kind of torn, or the Gordon Ramsay Beef Wellington, because he loves Beef Wellington, and uh, he has shown how to make it. Um, so I haven't, haven't decided to do that yet. I have a few more videos I want to talk about. Well, let's talk about cooking competitions. I've been in two. Not that I wanted to be in either, either one, but, oh, no, I did. I did want to be in either one. I didn't realize it was a competition. Both of them I didn't realize. So let's start with the Macy's competition. Macy's, if you guys remember, Macy's had a competition to find the best griller barbecue person in the world. Okay? And each region in the United States, they would have you compete and I think that was when I was in transition or gonna, no, I think it was when I was moving to Tennessee. Anyway, they literally picked winners from all over the country. There must have been 20 some odd winners. And they, and then you had the finals. I mean, in semifinals or whatever. But anyway, all of them are women. Ladies, I love you. I appreciate you. Couldn't do life without you. But you're looking for the best griller barbecue guy and barbecue griller, and they're all 100% women. And I'm like, hmm, I'm like, well, I'm not winning this one because it's Macy's. I mean, if Victoria's Secret put on a barbecue competition, which I wouldn't expect them to, it would probably be all women also. So maybe, maybe no men. I know men applied because I applied. And uh, so anyway, bottom line is, 
the finals were um were on uh, 34th Street. Okay, Macy's on 34th Street, like from the movie Miracle on 34th Street. Those were the finals. I got called one day and said, hey, the winner of your region, it wasn't me, but the winner got ill. You can't go to New York for the finals. We need you to fill in because you were the second runner up. I'm like, cool. So I went there. It was all women. I'm like, guys, there's no way I'm winning this. I promise you this thing is rigged for a lady to win. It only makes sense. I mean, let's be raw and honest, all right? I have known two people over the last 10 years that have been on cooking companies on television, and they are not rigged. You have zero truth to what you're talking about. Okay, Sean, you're allowed your opinion, but I know everything I'm talking about because I was standing there. How do I not know what I'm talking about when I'm standing there? I'm a part of the competition. So anyway, so I'm in New York, and I have all these ladies, and I'm still friends with one of the ladies. We talk all the time. Uh, online um so uh that's why i put the word most sean i i don't say 100 percent. i'm not you don't ever say all don't do that okay because there are some every so often but to accuse me that i don't know what i'm talking about you know is not cool so anyway i i guarantee you i know for a fact that the one i was in was rigged because i did the lady who won did barbecue spaghetti where she laid the spaghetti on the grill and had sauce on it and all that. And it was a beautiful dish. Okay. So I did these, I did these beautiful um, short ribs. I did teriyaki short ribs. I, I kind of like braised them on the, I mean, it, they were grilled so perfectly. They're like a medium rare. And when the judge, it was a celebrity judge from TV was judging the finals. He came over, there was two of them, two judges. The celebrity one came over and he looked at my ribs and said, this is my favorite dish. I love short ribs. And I'm like, oh, this is great. So he tasted my short ribs. He took his little notes. He tasted her spaghetti and the other, the other four ladies. And he tasted all of our food and I'm standing there. I told all the ladies. I go, there isn't a chance in the world for me to win this. I was a runner up. I guarantee you there's no way they're going to pick me. So um, they picked the girl with the spaghetti. That's the one who I'm still friends with. She's such a sweetheart. I'm glad she won. I, I really am. But basically, the judge, the celebrity judge came up to me and said, yours was the best, but they told me I had to pick somebody else. Literally. So, Sean, you tell me I don't know what I'm talking about. I heard it with my own ears. They lit he literally said, your dish was the best, but I had to pick a lady. That's what I heard. I'm like, okay. So I don't remember. He's got a cookbook out. I can't remember. He was kind of a B celebrity chef. Um, so bottom line is that's rigged. So then I go into a show called The West Texas. Uh, it wasn't Gordon Ramsay, no. Uh, the West Texas Investors Club, uh, let's see, well, he wasn't the only judge, so it's not only his decision, maybe her dish was just better. You guys can justify it. I really hate when you do that. I hate when you guys do that. I'm going to tell you right now, there will be a million people to defend whatever I'm, whatever my opinion is. You'll sit here and go, well, maybe the, the clouds were purple, and maybe they were raining wine. I mean, I don't, don't do that. Please don't do that. It's just, it's just. It's not right, all right? I was there. I heard it. It was told to me and all that stuff. What's up, Junior? So, um, uh, by the way, there's big projects coming from Jack Junior. I just got to give you a, a hint on that. I'm going to the gym in the Is it okay if I want something real quick? I'm live right now. I know, but it'll be like one minute. I just got to get some No, no. Practice. You got it, please. Uh, use the hand one if you have to. So, okay. can you about blend it in one? Yeah. Use the hand mixer. Okay. Um, so anyway, um, I go on the West Texas Investors Club, and they never told me it was a competition. I really hate how the producers were kind of not really slimy, but they kind of were. They didn't tell you anything. Then you just walk right into this. And they're like, oh, well, you want us to invest on your barbecue sauce. I'm like, yeah, that'd be cool. 
Um, so basically, big fan of Jack Jr.'s rap music. Hey, uh, um, ugly, uh, ugly hobo says he's a big fan of your rap music. He says he promises it's going to get better. So uh, he's working on some stuff right now. So just hang in there. All right. So I get on, I get on the set, and they tell me tomorrow morning you're going to compete against the local favorite barbecue spot. I'm in the middle of Texas. Okay. It's literally everybody who lives there. That's all they eat is that place. But I'm going to, uh, was it? I think it was Chef Todd English. Oh my gosh. I think the celebrity was Chef Todd English. Did you look that up? Yeah. He was a, what a great guy, by the way. I didn't know the other judge, but that's fine. You know, they were, they were judging according to what they were asked to judge. But, um, but yeah, so I think it was Chef Todd, Todd English. Anyway, so I'm on the, on the set and I show up and they ask me to work a giant smoker. I'm going to smoke like 28 racks of ribs and 80 chicken breasts and all this stuff. And it's raining. So all my wood is wet. All the wood I'm supposed to use in the smoker is wet. So I have to use a blowtorch to get it to light. It was just, took forever. So anyway, the whole thing's crazy. But basically, um, our first person in the boys club, congratulations. It will be nice not speaking with you any longer. All right. So I'm back on the set. Okay. So um, anyway, um, the wood's wet. I never worked the smoker, that type of smoker before. It was just an offset smoker, but it was huge. So I'd never done that before. So they give me like the mayor of the town or the, the three people from the town to judge this thing. I'm thinking, oh, man. So this is the favorite hot spot that I'm competing against. Three people that are local that are from the town are going to judge this. Some dude from California is, well, was it California at that time? Yeah, it was in California. I think so. So some dude from California thinks he's going to come walking in and win this competition. So we did the competition. And Jack, what's the best way to make duck pate? Do not know. Never touch duck pate. Um, yes, bubble gum. Newspapers do help light fires. Um, I totally agree. It was, it was all pine, I think. Um, but, uh, this is like a blowtorch. So the blowtorch got it lit finally. Anyway. So the bottom line was the judges called the tie. I was blown away. That was amazing. Those judges were the most honest people I've ever met. Okay. So I thought, Oh, this is totally, this is totally honest. Just the fact that I tied with the local favorite, I was honored just to tie. All right. So guess what? The show makes it even worse and says, okay, now we're going to have all the locals. Since it's a tie, they're going to be the tiebreaker. Really? Really? All the locals that eat there every single week? Really? I'm going to have to go against all of them? And that's when I lost. They chose the, the restaurant as the, the favorite. I'm like, oh, who didn't see that coming, right? So that's... Those are the two uh, competitions I was in without me knowing. <laughs> if you hear any noise in the background, that's Jack Jr. grinding his stuff and he's trying to make up energy Mark drink. Two. Oh, okay. Uh, Jack Jr. Uh, is doing great. Let's see. So, but, uh, so wait, what did first place win? I don't remember what. Well, the going against the restaurant was not. There was no prize. It was to see who was better. But the first place was like uh, 10 grand went to in uh, Macy's competition. But the bottom line is it's not about the prize. It's about how many of these things are. I've watched enough of Gordon Ramsay's Hell's Kitchen to know he knows. I I've watched him put back somebody he thinks is more promising who should have been kicked off and he didn't. Because he knows he's not going to pick somebody for his restaurant. It's a multi-million dollar restaurant. He doesn't want some, somebody who, let's say, like me, is a, just a home cook running his restaurant. That's, 
he's not going to invest in that. So I truly believe a lot of those are rigged. And you could say, I don't know what I'm talking about. I just explained. It. All right. I, I'm, go I'm explaining by experience. I'm explaining by logic. You know, I've watched him get rid of people that I'm like, wow. You know, that wasn't the case. But that person had no experience or was a cafeteria cook or was a cook at uh, Waffle House or whatever. Um, and the one who was an experienced chef lasted longer. So anyway, uh, let's see. Um, I'm sure that show edited you to look bad at the end when you were crying. Uh, what happened on the show? They edited it out. Uh, they had talked about my mom who had just passed away. That's why I was crying on the show. I had nothing to do with competition. But they used the crying scene and put it somewhere else. Totally sketchy. Anyway, thanks for the tip about the squidding pasta. That's right. My Halloween episode just aired this morning. So if you guys want to see, it's witch's hair with uh, maggots. Uh, we make that on the show. It's a lot of fun. you got to see it. It's very delicious. It doesn't sound good, but it's very delicious. Gordon Ramsay is very strict. Oh, yes, he is. I do understand he is. I bet Ramsay makes more from TV than his restaurants. Oh, I, I, he's, he's a great brand. He really is. I, I don't believe he is who he portrays. He, I believe he plays a character. I believe I know he follows me on Twitter. So he's a nice guy. Uh, the moment that uh, he won Burger Wars on my show, he started following me on Twitter. His restaurant won uh, Burger Wars in Vegas. Uh, let's see, how long was the total filming time? It was one week. Uh, we filmed for an entire week. The pasta looked incredible. The pasta was. If you've never had squidding pasta, you got to go watch today's episode. Uh, why did your Halloween episode air so early? I do all my, all my holiday videos are at the beginning of the month. If you watch the show, like everybody else, for years, I want to give you plenty of time to decide whether you want to do that dish for Halloween, whether you want to do that dish for Thanksgiving, whether you want to do that dish for Christmas. Um, it, doesn't, it doesn't make sense to release a Christmas dish the day before Christmas because you guys need to go, hmm, that looks good. Oh, I should put that on my, I should make that. And then I'm going to a party. I need to make a dish. That's perfect. I give you plenty of time. I always put the air of the holiday episodes beginning of the month so that you can enjoy it all month long. Uh, what's the difference between prawns and shrimp? I do not know. I think Google knows more than me. So check out Google, Don. I, I honestly, I don't know that one. Uh, makes sense, Jack. Are you doing a Thanksgiving show? Yes. I, um, you guys remember when I did the Dollar Tree, uh, not Dollar Tree, Dollar General Thanksgiving? That was like under $50. That was a really good dinner, too. Can I get a shout-out from my friend, Preston? He loves your show. He watches old ones every day. All right, well, do me a favor, Tyrell. Tell Preston I said hi, and uh, there's a shout-out. Hey, is Squid Ink Pasta keto? Um, no, it's not keto. No pasta, no regular pasta is keto. Let's see. We're going to... We're gonna, Put you in the boys club. Congratulations. Two in the boys club today. Let's see when you go an all-time high. I tell you, when we go over 100, that's when they come out. I'm telling you. <laughs> uh, are you surprised Jack Jr. is so healthy, influenced by an urban culture? Rappers wear Jordans and has an urban accent. I don't know what health and urban tie together. But anyway, I don't, I don't understand that. Um, uh, I'm so I'm proud of him that he's healthy. He works out all the time. Plays basketball. He's uh, plays football. Uh, flag football. He's on a team. Uh, he's very active. I'm proud of him. I watched the art of making a sandwich video. The best. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see. There's one on how to make the hot dog too. Uh, that was good. Let's see. Uh, oh, heavily. Oh, heavily influenced. Oh, are you surprised Jack Jr. is so heavily influenced by urban culture? Oh, I get that question. Sorry, guys. That was my bad. New email. I didn't read it right. Are you surprised Jack Jr. is so heavily influenced by urban culture? Rappers wear Jordans, and he has an uh, urban accent. No, I don't worry about Jack Jr. being influenced by everything because 
uh, his stuff's all, you know, all good, all clean. And, um, and he's locked in. So he knows what he's doing. Uh, let's see, David and Stacy from Southampton. Love your show. Thank you so much. Been watching for over 10 years. Amen to that. Thank you so much. Chocolate dip habaneros for Halloween. <sighs> Greetings from South Africa. God bless South Africa. If you guys are eating chocolate dip habaneros, more power to you. Good luck with that. Jack, I love your channel. Test, are people reading me? Um, well, I just read that. So, John, the answer is yes. Will you be doing keto diet recipes? I have a playlist that's all keto. So, like, if I do beef, I have a beef playlist. If I do chicken, I, if you just like chicken, I have a chicken playlist. Yeah, if I do keto or product reviews or lazy man, there's playlists for each one of those, okay? Jack, what is your honest opinion of Junior's career choice? Do you think he should focus on something more practical? Well, no, I, I don't know if he's doing anything impractical. Uh, I raised Jack Jr. to do whatever he does. I told him, what, if, you, if you dig holes in the dirt, be the best hole digger you could ever be. And that's what he's trying to do right now. So if he chooses to do that, you know what? He's holding down a full-time job and he's, he's writing his music and more power to him. Why don't you give NF or uh, Andy Maneo a call and let them know and ask them, you know, I know you sell millions of albums. Did you make a good career choice? And they'll probably be in favor of it. So, um, but yeah, I, I can't ever knock what Jack Jr. does because whatever he does, like his full-time job, he's the best at it. That's how we raised him, to be the best at whatever you do. It seems like nowadays you can't make it as a rapper. You don't talk about drugs, crime, or use bad language. No, he, his stuff's um, good. Um, you know, but I'm not here to talk about all the stuff he sings about. But, yeah, it's clean. And you know what? His, his writing's good. I mean, I, I have to say, I've been, I DJed. That was the first job I ever had. I DJed at a nightclub. I played rap for a living. I spun records and I mixed and I pinched the spindle and I scratched wiki, wiki, wiki. I mean, I'm sure when I was 20, you would have told me the same thing. I agree, new email. Let's see. Uh, there's a big market for Christian rap. Oh, there's so much room for that. Don't get me wrong. I love Christian rap, but. You know, Christian music's always been 10 years behind. If it's rap, if it's contemporary, if it's rock, it always sounds like it's, it's you know, it's out of the 2000s or 90s. It's, it's always been behind. Uh, what's your connection to the chicken place in Rivergate Mall? Uh, I reviewed them. That was it. They play my video, but I have no connection with them. I have no. I just went there. I ate the food. I talked about it. That was it. So they played that video. Uh, like, not a little blood either. Last time the bowl was totally full. Any new pizza review? What's your connection? Uh, Jack? No pizza review. Oh, um, do you have a pizza review coming up? Nice yes. On yes, on November 1st, we're going to have a new pizza. We're talking about, I'll give you a sneak, sneak peek into it, okay? I should be telling you, but we're talking about ghost kitchens. And we're going to be talking about a new service coming out. Uh, let's see, Jack, have you seen any of the reviews of your sauce online? No. I, I don't trust anything I read online. Even if it says it's good. I don't trust it. Like, you don't know. No, just kidding. Um, Jack, have you seen any of the... No. My friend Lou, who is a cancer patient, loves your chunk. Could you send him your wishes for support? Uh, Lou... I hope you're doing better. I hope everything's taken care of. I hope you got the best doctors. I hope everything's going well. And I thank you for watching the show. Uh, ghost Kitchen, spooky. Yeah, it's it's interesting. Right after Halloween, we're going to talk about Ghost Kitchen. But um, it's pizza related. So you'll get a chance to see that. Uh, how are the newlyweds doing? They're doing great. They're working, going to school. They're doing what newlyweds do. They're trying to build a life together. Uh, she's finishing her education. Jack's doing his stuff. They're working hard. But I try not to get too much into detail in their lives because it's their lives. Uh, I totally respect their privacy. 
Uh, do a Chipotle restaurant review. Nah, can't do that. Uh, have you ever been on H? Uh, have you ever been on uh, H? Uh, uh, no. Uh, what is she going to school for? Um, oh, I don't know if I asked permission to talk about it. Oh, criminal justice? Yeah, criminal justice. So um, that's where her heart is to help people. Uh, I heard Rihanna is expecting congrats to being a grandfather. Yeah, it's a complete lie. Just don't, don't start rumors. Rihanna is expecting. No, she's not. She's not. She's not. Okay, so, you know, most newlyweds, plan that out and they know kind of when and not right now. She's they're living life right now. They're enjoying being married right now. They're spending time getting to know each other right now. That's all that matters. I guess this is the Brianna and Jack Jr. show. Anyway, so um back to oh my brother. My brother Charles. Uh three years carnivore diet. He's eaten nothing but clean meat for three years. And says he's never felt better in his life. Will you allow comments on your YouTube videos? No. Um, uh, I don't want to sound harsh on that. No. The, and there's reason why not. I do all my, we do all commenting on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. <coughs> Excuse me. Jack, you're all jacked up. Drinking has caffeine from Garana. Are you okay? I don't know what that means. Mm. Guys, do me a favor and read your questions. Make sure, because uh, this is Jack. You're all jacked up drinking. Drink has caffeine from, I don't know what that means. Well, at least they are married now, so it would be okay. What? I don't know what you're talking about. I can't hear you. Oh, the nutrition shop. Yeah, I don't know if you guys watched that nutrition shop video. I went to two juice shops, and one was not cool, one was cool. And you should really, you should really um, check out that video. That was a good video. Uh, I warn everybody of that. Are you considering the meat diet? No, but I want to ask them a lot of questions. There's, it, it's, there's a lot. It's going to probably be a personal interview. Uh, I'm going to ask him some pretty intense body questions. I want to know how his body's functioning on just 100% meat. Love the channel. There's a German YouTube cook channel. Okay. Uh, called Nick Gurr that claims he's influenced by you. Well, you tell Nick Gurr if you ever talk to him, uh, I'm honored. I'm absolutely honored. I wish him the best. And um, that is so cool. The, the Germans are awesome. I've had some great conversations with them. Uh, what do you think? Okay, let's see. Uh, have you binge watched anything during COVID slowdown? Uh, yeah, I've binge watched. That's why I started Brutally Honest TV and movie reviews. So we could all, and that's one of the things on my list. I want to warn you not to watch something. Um, do not watch the new Adam Sandler movie. It's, it was horrible. It's the regular kind of lame. I, I believe Adam Sandler, like every other movie, he's like, he's like a lot of other comedians I know. Every other movie they do is kind of lame. It's not funny at all. But this Halloween movie he just did on Netflix, everybody's got nothing else to watch, so they're watching it. And you'll want your two hours back, I promise you. What's your favorite drink, Jack? Coffee. Jack, those juice shops... Well, where did that come and go? Yeah. You guys are flying by. Sorry. What's your favorite drink? Do, do, I love Nick Gurr. Call blood. Not that I don't. All right. I think Nick Gurr is a... Okay. Let me see. Where am I? I lost my spot. Do you have a local favorite restaurant in Hendersonville? Um, I really like a few places. I like uh, Hville Grill. Don't know them, but they have. What I like about it is the food's great, and the uh, 
Uh, the food's great, and they have a very wide variety on their menu. That's what I like about it. Do you have a local favorite restaurant in Henderson? Well, Walking Dead was only good for three seasons. Yeah, I, I, I got out of Walking Dead, I don't know, five or six or season or something. I don't know. When the dude with the bat showed up with the, with the bob wire, Lucy, I think the bat's name was. I don't know, Lucille. I can't remember. I'm sure you guys know. But anyway, I, I bailed. I soon found out it's not worth it. Adam Sandler has been funny since Little Nicky. I think Big Daddy was one of his last funny ones. Grown Ups was good. I think that came after Big Daddy. Grown Ups was good. Uh, my favorite is um, is uh, what is Happy Gilmore. It's my favorite Adam Sandler movie ever. You have a local favorite in the scene, Walking Dead. Are there any sports left to watch? They haven't been running ruined by politics, I. Eh? I don't know, Rune. The bat guy is... <clears throat> Happy Gilmore is awesome. That was a great movie. Okay, I have to admit, I laughed hard at that movie. That was some of his best stuff. He should go back. Like When I feel like I'm screwing up, I go back and watch my older videos, see where I did better and where it was more appealing. Jack, you watching any college football? Nope. It's sports where they didn't know. Uh, I'm glad you guys are liking it. Uh, this is not a sports year for me uh, for many reasons. Uh, it, but from what I'm hearing, the NFL is all screwed up. They're canceling games. They're moving games. Not that it matters because they're not going to change the tickets for the cardboard fans. So I'm not sure what's going on. Personally, I think it's a perfect time again. I've told you guys, virtual reality headsets. We could all go to the game. Right there, 50-yard line, everybody. Jack, you said the doctor told you, no, ca there is no caffeine from guarana caused your stroke. No, it was energy drinks with guarana. They had caffeine from, I don't know what you're, why you're saying that. Uh, um, there is no, I, there's no caffeine in guarana. They're two separate chemicals. Jack, you watch any uh, Tennessee versus UGA today? I, I read about that. I it just came across in the headlines. I heard the Tennessee Titans got COVID. Yeah. Uh, all of them getting COVID and postponing games. And I'm like, dude, it's a train wreck. It's just a train wreck to get anything done. Um, drink green tea to reduce cholesterol. I saw basketball highlights and all the jerseys have political nonsense on them. I turned it off immediately, okay? Yo, Jack, uh, Grape Street mm, from Memphis right here, and I love your videos. Yo, Jack, Grape Street Crip from Memphis right here, and I love your videos. God bless Memphis. Uh, I love Beale Street. I walked it one time in my life, and it was awesome. It was awesome. The music was awesome. The people I saw on the street were awesome. It had such a great vibe. If you've never felt a vibe like Beale Street in Memphis, you're missing out. It's kind of like the French Quarters in Louisiana. You're missing out if you haven't visited. Uh, let's see, I'm, which I'm going to go visit. Uh, no, 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 don't worry about it. Guarana does not contain caffeine. As far as I know, I could be an idiot. I don't even know. I don't claim to be a doctor or know any of that stuff. But Guarana, from what my ER doctor told me, the guarana plant is like cousin of the methamphetamine. So that's where you get your, your spike. He says your heart does a fight or flee. You know, it races your heart like you're in a fight or flee situation. But I'm not here to talk medical stuff. I am not claiming I know anything other than what the doctor told me. Uh, Jack visits New York City. I would like to. Uh, Ray, I would like to go there and do... You guys know uh, my heart is in New York and New Jersey for a Pizza Wars uh, tour. Let's see. Walking in Memphis is a song. Oh, is it? Who sings it? <laughs> uh, Google says Corona has twice as much caffeine than coffee does. I'll have to look that up. I did never heard there was caffeine inside Corona. Uh, what cooking competition is fixed? 
oh, we talked about the two that I had been in in the past that uh, basically felt fixed. I mean, when you're going up against a town favorite, that's really not promising. You know, they set you up. They just set you up to lose, basically. Um, let's see. Hello from St. Petersburg, Russia. God bless Russia. Uh, hope you're having a, a good day today. Hope the weather's good. I know ours is rainy today. Uh, has Tammy's new accounting company been successful? Praying for you guys. Thank you. Um, yes, Tammy is creating something wonderful and still applying for jobs. And, and we're just, thank God we're our heads above water. Uh, and let's see, Mark Cohen walking in my Oh, that, that's the name of it. Mark Cohen. I did not know that. I have to listen to that. I bet it's a great song. <clears throat> Hold on a minute. Sorry. <clears throat> did the church fix a competition? Uh, I'm not sure what church you're talking about. Crab or shrimp? What happened with your old job, if I may ask? It went away. Um, is Pizza Wars fixed? Um, I no, I don't know what, what you what you mean. Have you ever spent any time in jail, Jack? No, never. Uh, drink Gatorade instead of Mountain Dew. I agree with that. Gatorade Zero is even better. Um, <clears throat> let's see. I'm running over time. I'll take a few more questions. I mean, let's see. I mean, how could a chain pizza place be number one? I don't know. Uh, I'm just saying, you know, it's that it depends because I've done uh, chain uh, burger places, fast food burger wars, where it was only fast food burger places. So if they're number one, doesn't mean they're the best burger in the world just mean they beat out all the other ones, okay? Same thing with chain. Uh, chain pizza, I don't know if I've done, uh, I haven't done like Pizza Hut versus Little Caesars versus, I haven't done all the, the fades. Uh, what was your favorite Halloween costume as a kid? The one I could breathe in. I mean, just like every time, when you did Halloween in California, it, I remember one Halloween was 80 degrees, literally. Before I left, we had an 80 degree Halloween. Halloween's supposed to be cool and creepy. And is Papa John good? Uh, Ray, no, when I did Papa John's on the show, they had a hole like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. They had a big hole that had no topping, no cheese, no sauce, no nothing. Just dough. It was just empty. And I'm like, I don't want holes in my pizza. So it was just the bottom part of the crust. How was your experience on West Texas Investors? It was eye-opening. Uh, the one thing that I realized that you guys don't know is the producers, any reality show, I'm, I'm sure it's the same way, but the producers wanted me to say things that I wouldn't say. They're, they were like, hey, tell them you need the money. Tell them if you don't get the money from this competition that you're going to die. You're going to... I'm like, I'm not going to lie. That... You know, that pretty much sealed it. But the producers wanted more drama, more drama, more. I had to have this money or my company was going to go under. My company's not going to go under. I don't need your money that bad. Anyway, I told them that too. And they weren't happy about that. But they kept hammering me with things to say. And I'm like, I'm not going to be dishonest to people. Uh, let's see. Only the crap. Let's see. I don't like wearing Halloween costumes because a lot of them require wearing a mask. Okay, you couldn't even answer question about revenue. I must have missed the question. I don't know what you're talking about. Jack, do a crossover with oh, a lot of there's a lot of people. Uh, Joey's World, I think you guys want me to do a crossover with. Um, if they contact me, uh, I'm never against crossovers, cross promoting each other. Uh, I like to help out channels that are smaller than me because nobody would help me when I was a small, cha a smaller channel. So I try and help out the little guys. I get more satisfaction helping them 
than trying to help me. Uh, you should reach out to them. I'm not sure their channel size. Uh, I've reached out to some, uh, I have a few YouTube cooks that I'm friends with and we talk. I'm about ready to do a YouTube meetup, which I haven't even announced yet. Um, where a bunch of YouTubers in Nashville are going to come together and just hang out and compare notes and all that. Reach out to Ken Domic. Uh, we are friends. Uh, not sure how to do. He does like fast food reviews and stuff or drive throughs or restaurants. I'm not sure how we could do it because as far as I know, isn't the Canadian border still closed? Maybe I'm like two months behind. You're awesome, Jack. Most people would lie through their teeth to get the, that money. Yeah, I, uh, I can't, I can't do it. There's a, been a few things. I just got somebody just asked me to do nonstick pans. They were going to pay me all this money to do nonstick pans on the show. Well, you know what? I've already told you guys uh, the chemicals from nonstick is not safe. You should go with you know, go with cast iron. Go with uh, the rock. Go with um, uh, what is it? The uh, steel. Go with other pans other than the nonstick coatings, okay? So I'm not going to take on a client just because they're going to pay me money. I've turned down wine companies and gambling companies and stuff like that. So I'm watching all these questions go by. Sorry. Are you going to hook uh, back up Charles for some fish hook stuff? I just talked to him like two days ago. He's back and forth between Florida and – and uh, Florida and – Tennessee. So he goes back and forth. We may be doing a video together. I think I'm bringing him into my kitchen next time. Uh, Jack, if you were my stepdad, we'd be best friends for sure. Awesome. Thank you. Any chicken and dressing videos coming this year for November? No, but I want to show you something behind me. Where is it? Oh, it's on that side. There it is. See that box over there? That just arrived. The, the company sent it to the show. Uh, you guys know Master Built. Well, that's the new air fryer. It's a 20 quart air fryer. It's the biggest I've ever worked on. It takes a propane tank, it belongs outside. Uh, it's like a cooker. It's called an outdoor air fryer. I didn't even know that was a thing, guys. So they just sent it to me. So I'm going, watching from India first time. Uh, got you live on YouTube. God bless India. And you guys be safe out there. I hope everything's good and booming and growing for you. Uh, your technology is amazing. Um, so basically, uh, that box I'm going to be reviewing, I'm doing a turkey. I've never done an air fryer turkey. But since that holds a turkey, I'm doing a turkey in that. You guys remember the master built uh, butterball deep fryer that I use every year? I did a review on that many years ago back in California. That's the same company, but there's no oil involved. Yeah. I love that. So I'm, I'm really excited. So we're going to be doing, I've already uh, created it. We're going to be doing, I haven't filmed it yet. We're going to get a turkey, inject it with Creole butter everywhere. And then we're going to um, season the outside with Nashville hot. We're going to have a Nashville hot turkey. And that probably will be uh, uh, Jack, that church chili competition. How do you guys remember this stuff? You guys are amazing. I am totally, I salute you. Jim brought up the church chili competition I was in. I did a video on it, and the judges were all the people that came to the chili competition. She brought 20 family members and won the competition. Not that it's rigged. But that's not fair. You should have neutral judges. You shouldn't say, whoever brings the biggest family will win. She got more votes than anybody. There was some great chilies there, by the way. I, didn't, I did not ever think that I should have won. I just know I put, put together a pretty darn good chili. I had, it was smoked brisket, I think it was. And, and I put a lot of time into it. And this lady probably opened a can because it was just, eh. But she had the biggest family there, and they all voted her. And it was like, I'm like, the church should have picked some neutral people. I don't care if I win or lose. I, I lose. I've lost my whole life. I got failure down, guys. I promise you that. 
So I've lost my whole life. But basically, no, you explicitly complained about children participating in a local church. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, Jack, do you use a, I don't know what that is. Uh, Jack, that chili you use, an old brisket. Yeah, it was left over a smoked brisket. That's what hurt. Nobody knew that. When I was at the competition, nobody knew about the day before I smoked the brisket. How could that hurt me in the competition? Um, your chili was also garbage. That's fine. That's your opinion. Once again, you guys want to voice your opinion? That's fine. I found your channel because, because eights. The brisket was a year old, wasn't it? No. Not at all. I don't know where you guys got that. Well, you guys come up with the craziest stuff. Hey, didn't I hear that you put your head through a, a machine gun or something? I'm like, well, who said that? Um, no, freezer burnt brisket is not. I would not cook it up. Uh, let's see. I thought it was a year old brisket. No, I've never cooked a year old brisket ever. Um, let's see here. Let's see. Look delicious. I can tell you. You. I don't know what that means. Still, what is A H K? Are you going to do autumn stew chili roast type recipes? Uh, I love the single pot things you do, and you can do any of the um, any instant pot that I do. There'll be more chili definitely coming down the pike. When I get back from New Orleans, I'm gonna be doing more stuff. Uh, we'll be doing chili. I got a, um, you know, the pot set that I'm crazy about, The Rock. Well, they sent me the diamond version. And so I got to review that. I got a set of knives that just arrived. Um, let's see. You said in the video the brisket was from last year. Um, I'll have to go back and look at that. But I, I don't believe it. I would have said that. Even if I did, why would you say that on video? Well, I'm cooking your old brisket. I don't know. Uh, I've been looking into leaning here. Would you be interested in putting out a video where you show your meal plan for a week? Um, you know, a lot of you have had issues with the term. It's You guys are a bunch of fires I'm putting out all the time. A lot of you freaked out when I said leaning keto. That just means I'm not 100%. But it means I lean towards it. Like people, like leaning Republican. I don't believe everything they say, but I believe in some of those. So I'm leaning towards something. Uh, I'm not sure why that would be an, an issue. Uh, Jack, what do you think of the Cowboys so far this season? Not a clue. Uh, they all got COVID. I have no idea. He said it. No hate to Jack, but I saw the video. Okay, great. You, you saw the video. Thanks for watching the video. More ninja foodie videos, please. Okay. Um, you mean, well, when I do Instant Pot, I use my ninja foodie. So when I go to, uh, Brady, when I go to do my chili, I'll be doing it in the ninja foodie. But whatever I do in the ninja foodie, it's identical to the Instant Pot. Uh, what is leaning keto? I just explained what leaning keto is. Oh, good. I'm glad... I'm glad that it was clear. It's like um, there's a lot of people who aren't 100% vegetarian. So they're leaning vegetarian, but they still eat fish. So that's what it means to lean towards something. Jack, would you be sad if... No, we're not going to talk politics. It could be December brisket cooked in January. Possibly. Is that okay or not? He has an industrial freezer too, by the way. Uh, yeah, I got a free an extra freezer. Oh, you guys know everything. I'm so I'm so amazed. Sometimes your memories are great. Maybe it's because I'm getting older. My memory's shooting. But uh, do some Caribbean dishes. Uh, okay, I just rewatched the church chili. He did he did say it was from last year. The video was posted in October. Okay, then I said it. Uh, Jack never never changed. Love your channel. God bless you. Thank you so much. Um, so at least 10 months. Uh, I lean vegan uh, for ethical reasons. Yeah, a lot of people, there's a lot more vegans, a lot more vegetarians coming out. 
That's actually, yeah, that's right. You're totally right. That's actually called pescatarian, Jack, if you eat vegetarian and include seafood uh, or fish. Long time ago, you did a video outdoors where you went to a place where they planted veg in towers. Any updates? You're talking about tower gardens. Uh, we have a few updates. Go look. We've done, we've done a few updates. Just search my channel for tower gardens. Let's see here. Oh, my gosh. Uh, I only got a few more questions. Uh, time for a few more questions. Oh, okay. We're 30th, so 11 months. Uh, when is Jack Jr. moving out? Uh, I, it, here, here's the first thing. Jim, um, he, once, once all the schooling's done, and uh, they're, they, I mean, they, they want to go. Trust me. They want to go, but she needs to take care of her education first. That's more important. Make sure that both the kids get off on four feet. They're totally safe. And um, so they'll let, you know, we'll have that conversation when the time comes. But uh, here's what I don't get, Jim. How does that information help you? I'm just curious uh, how it helps you to know when he's moving out. I, I don't, I mean, I, you have the right to question anything you want. But I'm just curious why you would ask that question. Uh, how is Paul doing? What well, you're going to find out, Massive. Uh, we miss seeing him in Jack and the Go. He's doing the entire, he's going with me to New Orleans. And we're going to be hitting all the spots together. So you see Tammy, you'll see Paul. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Chris's lovely wife won't be able to join us. But um, it would have been cool if all four of us could have gone out there. But um, he's a blast no matter what. All right, you guys, let's see if he goes to the bathroom before we film. I'll let you know. Every time we did a Jack and the Go, we'd go to the bathroom. It was like he was making room. Uh, let's see. Uh, Jack, what's your thoughts on the legal? All right. Oh, there they go. Are we over 100? No, not yet. I thought we were all rich family here, Jack. Maybe just concerned for your family. Maybe. No, it's all cool. That, like I said, Jim has the right to ask any question he wants. I was just curious why he wanted to know. And I'm allowed to ask that question, too. Uh, big Paul fan. Paul's a blast. Paul's fun. Uh, are you going to make a gumbo video? I thought, I think Paul's coming on the cooking show. I don't know if it was gumbo or jambalaya. He's got a recipe he wants to do. I should call him. You guys ever check out? Hmm. Food can last a long time. Also, the science behind the whole food business. If you buy, if you buy, like, I got, I probably have beef ribs that are frozen right now that are 10 months old. That's safe. As long as you freeze immediately, um, you know, it's not expiring meat or anything. Uh, if you get it, like, freshly cut or whatever, and you take it home, put it right in the freezer, you can hold it for quite a long time. You can look that up if you want, but uh, I know that. Hi, Broken Brunette. Uh, let's see, is Mitch coming back to your videos? Uh, I don't have anything planned yet, but Mitch's still one of my good friends. We still meet every month, go out to breakfast. Do you ever feel awkward as a Christian with all the voodoo and black magic in New Orleans? No, because I'm protected. No, I don't even worry about that. It's all cool. I mean, you know, they can day of the dead all they want. I don't know if it's, I don't even know when day of the dead is. I don't even know when that is. But, um, no, it's all cool. There's going to be some great people out there. Be safe in Louisiana, Jack. They're seeing a spike and go, not worried. Thank you, Jim. But I appreciate your concern. Stay awesome, Bob. You stay awesome. Because I'd be nobody without Bob and everybody else that's in this room right now. Uh, MREs are preserved to last decades. Not, all, not at all the same as some pieces of meat in tinfoil. Yeah, if I put something in the freezer, it's sealed. Let's see. Uh, Jack, have you tried the new... Oh, yeah, I'm, not, I'm not playing McDonald's meals. I'm not doing that. How long... Uh, I think three years. How long has Maury been gone from Cornerstone? I think it's three years. I don't... I didn't, I didn't mark my calendar. Sorry. Have a good day, Jack. Take care, David. Uh, did you see on the news... Oh, I can tell you right now, I didn't watch the news. You're right. Uh, anyway, I just want to let you guys know that I truly, I'm sure a lot of YouTubers say, I love you, see you later, thanks. 
I truly care about you guys. And I try to be honest with you. I screw up. I'm not perfect. Uh, I respect you guys. I want you to have an opinion when you're in the chat section, as long as you're not rude or disgusting or racist or anything like that. That's not being tolerated. So, plus my wife yells at me every Saturday morning. Be nice. When you go on the live show, be nice. I'm like, okay, great. Anyway, uh, I just want you guys to have a great Saturday. If you if you live next near me, be safe because the rings are coming and it's going to be a little bit crazy. So, just stay indoors. I know, I know we've been indoors quite a long time. But uh, I just, I love you guys. I can't say enough about you. All right? So everybody take care, and I will be back. Uh, I don't have a Twitch channel. Um, they called me once and wanted me to do it. Uh, I tried to go to the Wayne from Papa's last night. Hmm. Ghost Pepper Wayne from Papa's. Hmm. That just made me stop. Sorry. Anyway, I'm saying goodbye. So I love you guys, and I will see you next Saturday. Take care. Bye-bye.